get the latest movie reviews, Hollywood news, and inside views. It's time for Behind the Screens with Lights, Lights Tamara Jackson, Jackson on 1077 GNA. Hi, guys. Uh, quick question for you. Can I play part two of Meat or Candy right now? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, we're not talking about that. Okay, Jackson, so we left that yesterday. Thank I, you for I, listening, though, Jackson. <laughs> Yeah, I was on my way to training for the LCJ Charathon. I had you guys on, and I was like, oh. holy cow, this is quite the game. Yeah, quite the game. <laughs> Thanks That's for saying nice it that way. Saying. By the way, just real quick for people who are like, what is he talking about? We, we tried to get creative with Old Dominion tickets yesterday morning on the show with a game, and that's all you need to know about it. Right. <laughs> and it didn't go so well. It so was a little weird. It's I wrote weird. down that it sucked. I don't know. I'm looking through my notes again. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the Emoji movie. You went and saw it. It's an animated film. Is there really a story here? There is a bit of a story. It's about uh, an emoji who expresses multiple emotions, even though he's only supposed to express one, and he's really got to find himself. The movie's all about finding yourself. It's from Sony Pictures Animation. All the emojis interact with each other. The only character who has funny lines in this movie is the poop emoji voiced by Patrick Stewart. He's terrific, but underused. I like some of the visual, high-tech, modern elements to it, but the story is very basic. The script is underwhelming. I didn't laugh nearly as much as I wanted to. Anybody over the age of 10 is going to be bored by this. But I got to say, I've been seeing some of the other reviews out there that have been absolutely destroying this movie. This movie is not terrible by any means. There are some great qualities to it, but it is not fantastic. If you had to give it an emoji as a score, which one would you choose? Any oh, emoji. Boy, it's... I mean, some parts of it are the meh emoji, some of the subplots, but some of the subplots, there's a scene with a, a character voiced by Christina Aguilera. It's a Just Dance scene because they really take legitimate apps and put them into this movie like Just Dance and Candy Crush. And I smiled during the Just Dance sequence because of how well done it is. Okay, mm. sounds uh, not very interesting. <laughs> uh, so tell us about Atomic Blonde with uh, Charlize Theron. Yeah, this might perk you up. It's Charlize Theron in another action movie, and this time she plays a spy during the Cold War in Britain. This film is based on a graphic novel. James McAvoy, John Goodman are in the supporting cast. I saw this last night. Definitely some well-choreographed and staged action sequences. There's a one continuous shot that's 12 minutes. It's all Charlize kicking some butt. That's really well done. If you're into this genre, you're probably going to love it. For me, I thought it was a little same old, same old. I definitely liked it more as it went along. All right, let's talk about what Kelsey Grammer is going to be doing. Yeah, he was on live earlier this week. He was promoting a new show. It starts today on Amazon. It's called The Last Tycoon. He plays the head of a fictional 1930s movie studio, and the show's terrific. I've already seen the first episode of it. So Kelsey also talked about the brewery he's been working on for the past few years that's going to open up soon in Delaware County. They've been doing a lot of water treatment and waste disposal maintaining, but they've actually started with the beer. It's called Faith American Ale. He says it tastes great, and it's going to be out soon, but I think it's cool. We're going to have a brewery from Frazier right yeah, here in the right. area. Do we know what town or city that's going to be in Delaware County? Somewhere in Delaware County. He didn't He didn't disclose everything, but he and Anderson Cooper, who was the guest co-host the other day, talked a lot about uh, land out there. Kelsey was like, I'm not Dutchess County. I'm Delaware County. So if you were uh, somebody local watching live, you were definitely liking that conversation. How's your training going for the oh, seat-a-thon yeah. or squat-a-thon, that awesome <laughs> thing that you're doing? <laughs> for the chair -a -thon, it's going very no, well. Sorry. Yesterday I sat in more oh. than 1,700 seats at Colony. The other day I did 1,400. I have sat in all the seats in all of the theaters combined in the two days, and I've been doing some great training. You really got to train because the legs got to be in good shape. The arms got to be in good shape. So, yeah, Tuesday, August 8th, watch it live on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and you can donate on the Team Fox webpage. It's the pinned tweet on my Twitter at LCJ Review. And it's for uh, the Parkinson's disease awareness and also Michael J. Fox's charity, correct? It is, yes. Such a great cause. Imagine, like, seeing this man practicing. <laughs> You're you know, the emoji yeah, movie, and all of a sudden... I was in the RPX, and two guys were coming in because the first show <laughs> of the day was Dunkirk in the RPX, 
and I still had to do the bottom <laughs> section, and these two guys are sitting there in the front row, and they're probably shaking their heads and going, what in the world is this guy doing? And as I was walking out the theater, they were giving me weird looks, yeah, but I you do. know what? I'm doing this for a great cause. You just awesome. turn to him, and you, seat, you, you turn to him, and you go, I'm the, uh, the chair tester. Uh, is your seat okay, sir? Great, because that's what I'm here for. That's all, and then you just walk out. Just let him think. Awesome. Uh, Jackson, as always, great stuff. Thanks for taking us behind the screens. We'll talk to you next Friday. Thanks, guys. Ghost Story is out this weekend, too. I have to say quickly for the studio, I liked it. It's a psychological film about life and death. Go see it if you're interested in a ghost story. Thank you, guys, very right, much. Thanks, have a good weekend, buddy. Appreciate it.